Welcome to TYT Sports, everybody. Ben Manko is here, our producer, uh, Rick Strom, joining us. Rick, how are you? I'm doing well, Ben. Um, I actually have an idea that came to me about athletes endorsing products and them just completely bombing throughout the whole commercial. What, are we going to pretend that you just came to this and we have the seven videos ready to go? I actually just thought of it, as a matter of fact. We don't mislead people here at TYT Sports, so here's what we have. We came up with seven Dick. sort of sports figures who did commercials, and these are the ones that struck us as either really good or really horrible. Some you've probably seen, some you haven't. So let's begin with a couple that made a real impression on me as a kid. Uh, and we'll begin with Andre the Giant's great honeycomb ad. Andrew, roll the commercial. Come on, you guys. Only a little. Oh, the Hungry for a big honey taste. Big taste, honeycomb, big taste. Honeycomb, big taste. Honey comes big, yeah, 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 <laughs> it's not small, no, no, no. That was like, man, that got sung. That was like a top 40 song when I was 10 years old, or seemed like it. That You have no recollection of that, Rick, because you're like 12 years old. No, I'm pretty sure I have recollection of it. Yeah. You're always going to remember a 7 foot 4, 500 pound man. Yeah, but you don't remember that ad. There's no way you remember that ad. So? Yeah, all right. Um, Okay, here's the uh, second great uh, commercial ad of a cereal uh, when I was growing up, and it's great because it, it combines Ron Say, Daryl Dawkins, uh, and Randy White. Randy White, of course, University of Maryland, Baltimore Orioles hat, uh, and then the Dallas Bandwagon. Cowboys. Say what? Bandwagon. <laughs> but uh, and uh, no one joins up. No one jumps on the Orioles bandwagon. I'm pretty sure you just did. Um, it's a great hat. Uh, and then, uh, uh, but Randy White uh, inexplicably in a generic football uniform uh, in this Wheaties ad. Before I swing for the bleacher CDs, I get the EDs for my Wheaties. Before I slam my gorilla donkeys, I get the EDs for my Wheaties. The EDs for Wheaties, that undeniable, irresistible urge for the crispy, crunchy, whole wheat taste of the breakfast of champions. Before I put on my little cleaties, I get the EDs for my Wheaties. Part of your good breakfast. Dunkies doesn't work quite as well as CDs and Cleeties, but still, it's a great ad. And any ad with uh, Daryl Dawkins is terrific. Daryl Dawkins, one of the first NBA players not to go to college. Did you know that, Rick? I did not. All right, there you go, a little information. Third one up, we have a, a great ad from a uh, UCLA graduate, go Bruins, Jonathan Ogden of uh, the Baltimore Ravens. I, I don't want to pretend like I'm a big Baltimore fan. In fact, I hate the city of Baltimore. I hate, but, well, I don't hate Baltimore so much as I hated growing up the Orioles in any sense that as a Washingtonian, I should root for the Orioles. Doesn't mean I don't love this hat. Here's Jonathan Ogden. It's a commercial for a company called what? Ep Epco Insurance, is that right, Rick? Gebco. Gebco Insurance, doesn't matter. It's a great ad. Jonathan Ogden, a local ad in Baltimore. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. But the accident was your fault. Huh? <laughs> if you've had accidents, you gotta get Gebco. Gebco, huh? Do you need insurance for your car? Accidents to kids, it doesn't matter who you are. Cause you got the power with pennies that are low. When you're tired of walking, call Gebco. Go Gebco! Go Gebco! Go Gebco! Go Gebco! Gotta get Gebco! <laughs> I gotta get Gebco. <laughs> I love Jonathan Ogden, always did. And when he was the Bruins, straight to it. He had a great career, great player, too. Uh, I, the, my favorite part of the ad isn't the uh, enormous guy dancing so much as just oh. the whole concept that the accident is his fault. And the fact that he completely ruined the front of a pretty big car by himself. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Can you try to follow along, okay? Well, you're the one that's trashing the whole big man dancing, which is by far the best out of the Andre the Giant when he starts trying to dance with one arm, and then Jonathan Ogden dancing with a bunch of hot chicks around him. I'm not trashing anything. I swear to God, you're not following along even remotely. Fourth on our list. Uh, maybe, Yet I'm here. Maybe my least favorite athlete of all time, <laughs> Pete Rose. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Huh? Hey, Kool-Aid! Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid. I love the Kool-Aid Kool ads where you had the crash-a-bang-a-boom-a, Kool-Aid, thirst, oh yeah. 
apparently I don't remember them all that well. But we got the Kool-Aid bursting through the door, which was awesome. But a little Pete Rose diatribe. <laughs> I don't like to use the term little bitch, but Pete Rose is a little bitch. Uh, first of all, the gambling on baseball, anybody who apologize, Pete Rose apologists, I mean, this guy bet on baseball, whether he bet on his own team and nobody else is immaterial, because you bet, you bet $50,000 on your team and you're managing that team, you are going to blow out your bullpen in that game because you are going to make sure that you beat the freaking Cubs that night. And it's the Cubs, of course you'll beat the Cubs. But you are going to make sure you win that game and it's going to influence the rest of the games in your season. It's unconscionable, should be banned for baseball for life, should never be allowed back in. Should probably be separate from the Hall of Fame. Now that Ben Mankiewicz's rant is over because I interrupted him, are we talking about Pete Rose, the man, or are we talking about Pete Rose in a horrible commercial? I don't know. I can't remember. I've already lost my train of thought. Okay. But uh, uh, but first of all, he he can't eat. He, yeah, you know what? They're inseparable. I can't stand Pete Rose, but I do love Kool Aid. All right. Next on our list, uh, David Beckham. And is this Japanese? This ad. I think there are some Japanese subtitles, yes. Uh, this ad is uh, for some Japanese chocolate, and it's awesome. Open. Like blooming flowers, one love, one peace. The new friend, be sweet. It was actually for <laughs> Adidas. <laughs> I may have made a mistake about the chocolate. Uh, was it for Adidas? Yeah, I mean... Probably, but you know what the best part is, is when he tries to sound really, really sexy, yeah. but he can't do it at all. <laughs> you, you, I, I know you notice that. When he's really trying to get through to the audience, you know, it's really sweet and minty. Was that your David Beckham? <laughs> yeah, probably. Right. That was awesome. Yeah, uh, by the way, David Beckham is sexy. There's not a man, there's not a woman in the world that doesn't uh, t totally dig David Beckham. Uh, but what was he, so, like, flat, doesn't matter. That was awesome. Okay, uh, finally. It's minty. Uh, I like this. You uh, sound like you're from London. Uh, nice job finding this next ad because uh, it's the Boston Celtics uh, around uh, probably 85, 86, the mm -hmm. Bill Walton era of the Celtics. They're doing an ad for a local pub uh, in Boston, and it just shows you uh, how many white guys uh, the Celtics had. This is a remarkable ad. No, oh, man, it's the prime rib. Yeah. Yeah. Lobster. Ooh. I tell you, it's the salad bar. Oh. Well, boys, after a meal like this, there's only one way to show our appreciation. Whoa. <laughs> how did those guys win a championship? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I mean, what do you got? You got Ainge, you got McHale, you had Bird there, you had Walton. I'm guessing there was a little Scott Wedman action in that, maybe a little Jerry Cease thing. No, really. Come on. Come on. Best part is that Larry Bird laughs yeah, he in his one line. He can't even pull off his one line. All right, and, and finally, again, we're not saying these are the best. We just we loved them uh, or hated them in the case of Pete Rose. And our final one here, uh, uh, well, we don't need to set it up. Here's uh, maybe the best sports ad of all time, even though it's not a real athlete. Hey, John, how are you, huh? <gasps> that ain't your cake, Philip. That's Simone's cake. You eat someone else's cake again, and I'm going to give you a slice of Tony Special pain cake. And you won't. Well, seconds of that. I think the guy who stole the cake in that ad is the HR guy from 30 Rock. It might be. It's a good actor, that guy. Either way. Here's the problem with the Terry Tate office linebacker ads, and they're awesome. I don't even know what product they're for. What are they for? Reebok. Yeah, that's the problem. That's and that's the, the reason they got pulled off. Yeah, that's right. No idea. They're awesome. They're fantastic. But I don't know what I'm supposed to buy. They set the bar high for every other athlete in a commercial, even though he didn't even make it to the NFL. Yeah. Uh, Rick, nice job. Uh, there you go. Enjoy.